members. So I encourage you to do so because it is a great way to connect, a great way to form a community where you can feel safe and a place where you can ask questions that you've been dying to ask, you know, dying to find out about. So this is, again, our Soul Family Group call for November. And for those of you who may not know me, my name is Deepal Shaw. And for those of you who do know me, welcome, welcome. I am an international speaker, and you may have heard me on multiple telesummits. And I am a master healer as well as a teacher, and I train you to overcome your chronic health issues. Now, these group calls are held every uh, the last week of every month. So I was thinking about December, and I'm not really sure if I'm going to do one or not, but, um, but I haven't decided yet. So if we do have a soul family group call, again, it will be towards the end of December, that last week, right in between New Year's and uh, Christmas and New Year's, okay? You will get an email just like you do with all the other soul family group calls, so make sure you sign up for those. The soul family group calls, why did I create these? It's because it's a great way, again, for us to connect for us to meditate. Maybe a lot of you don't get that chance to meditate or you forget, right? And it's usually I do have a topic of discussion and we get to discuss that topic. And you can comment about the topic of discussion and also ask questions. You can ask questions anytime afterwards, after our discussion. And um, you can ask questions about packages you've purchased or, you know, you would like to know more about new packages um, that you haven't purchased or MP3s that you should use or sessions or spirituality, meditation, chakras, relationships. It's all um, for you. Okay, this is our way to connect where you can ask whatever questions you want and however the divine the guides guide me, I will do my best to answer your questions, okay? <laughs> um, but, you know, I want to make this place a safe place for you guys uh, to come together and meet up once a month. And it is very nice that you guys are taking this time for yourself and connecting here with me. So thank you for that. Now, if you are not receiving my newsletters, please be sure to subscribe at anandaforlife.com so that you can take advantage of the discounts and all kinds of things. Um, you can stay abreast of all the uh, different things that are going on, okay? The health clinic, um, the health clinic membership program, that is a great way to connect and get mini healings. You get two group calls plus 21 days of healing within the membership program. You can also get discounts on sessions and 50% off all regular priced MP3s. So that is a great, great um, membership that you can take advantage of. Take a look at it. Again, it's on my website. If it resonates with you, I would love to have you there. Um, and let's see, what else is coming up? Yeah, so um, Wednesday is the ear group call, the health clinic. It is on Wednesday. So if you're looking to, um, to get some healing with your ears, which we can all use, whether or not we actually have a physical ear problem or not, but it's a great way to, again, get healing. Um, so take a look at the health clinic. If you are not a member, take a look at the health clinic. You can sign up individually for the calls, okay? So take a look at that. I do want to mention that in February, I am hosting an online retreat just for you. Okay, and I invite all of you to it. It is taking place February 8th through the 10th. This online healing retreat is unlike any other, guys. 
let me tell you, when I was putting it together, the guides were coming through saying, you need to offer this and you need to offer that. And this is what people need in order to clear, heal, and transform and find their life's purpose and get out of that stuckness. And I said, okay, so what do you want me to put together? And so here's some of the things that are going to be happening at the three-day live online healing retreat. We're going to be doing meditation. I know all of you know how much I love meditating, but we're not going to meditate for 10 minutes. We're going to meditate longer. <laughs> so we're going to be doing meditation. We're going to be doing laughter yoga, one of my favorite kinds of yoga. Okay. We're going to be doing satsang. My cousin has volunteered to um, be here uh, one of those days, probably that's Sunday, and do a beautiful satsang, a chanting that we will do together to raise our vibration, okay, and open up to new energies. We are also going to do chakra clearing, hara line alignment, and one-on-one -on -one healing. So it's going to be not just a one-on-one -on -one healing from me, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one healing from me as well as my students. I have 22 students um, that are learning to do what I do at this time. And they are accelerating very, very quickly and they have some amazing gifts. So maybe in December, I might take the time to introduce you guys to my group to my students. They are an amazing, amazing um, group and uh, they will be working alongside with me on this online healing event. So please do join us. Um, again, the information is available on my website and it says online healing retreat. So take a look at that. Um, and you don't wanna miss it, I'll tell you that much. There is limited space, so keep that in mind, okay? Now, it's time to meditate, okay? So let's take 10 minutes of our time right now, and let's just close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in. Oh my gosh, nothing less than 100% left alive. And if you are not Muted, please do mute yourself. Okay. Now let's take this beautiful time. Put your hands up in receiving pose on your lap. You can be, try to keep your feet on the floor if you can. And if you're laying down, make sure you're propped up not completely flat. So go ahead and And just take a nice deep breath in and a nice breath out. And let's go ahead and start the 10 minute meditation now. I want you to focus, focus on the word, the mantra Om. Allow it to play in the background. Let everything go. And just let your thoughts come in and out. But come back to the mantra Om.
and take a nice deep breath in and slowly open your eyes. Very good. Hmm. Now go ahead and rub your forehead, rub your face. Know that you are here and you are back. <laughs> Feel your arms, you know, just feel your skin, your head, whatever you want to feel. Just know that you're back. And take that nice deep breath in and a nice breath out. Very good. Very good. Ah, I love meditating. I think it's really, really important. Of course, I don't meditate for 10 minutes. But for this, I just want to get you guys at least meditating for 10 minutes. So I definitely um, have to meditate on these calls. Um, I see quite a few of you guys here. So welcome um, for those of you who came on a little bit later. But today, here's our topic for today. What I really want to talk about is, you know, I know the holidays are coming up and I'm sure it's chaotic you know, a little bit, whether it be within your mind, within your body, you know, our environment. Right now, things are going to get a little crazy, especially with Black Friday coming up. <laughs> you know, everybody's going to be trampling over each other at Target. But, um, you know, it, it's, this is the time, and of course, this should be an everyday practice, but let's talk about self-care because I don't feel like everyone is doing that enough, including myself, okay? I don't feel that I am doing enough of that because before I'm thinking, okay, self-care, that means go shopping, go get my nails done, you know, um, just, just something maybe materialistic, I, I guess I'm thinking, right? But the more I dive into self-care and what that really means, okay, and I've always told my, told my family that they drive me crazy sometimes, most days, and I'm going to go into a monastery. I'm, I'm just going to become a monk. You know, and they laugh. <laughs> and I always wonder what a life of a monk really feels like, 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 or a nun or, or anybody that's not really living our day to day, you know, lives with families and working and, and the environment. I, I don't, you know, I've, I've always wanted to dive into that. So, um, so I decided to have this mindset of peace and self-care and um, living my monastery life here, here in my own house. How can I do that, right? And what came to me was self-care, okay? And I want you to know and understand, what, is, what does that mean to you? Because I've been contemplating in my mind what it means to me, but I want to find out from you guys today, what does it mean to you, self-care, okay? What are your beliefs behind it? How come you don't take care of yourself, okay? Um, and I want to find out if you do do self-care, how do you do that? What is your mindset? So to me, self-care means doing something or taking the time to do something for myself. And I mean taking that time to do something without rushing through it. Because that's what I was doing on a daily basis and that's what I find my clients doing on a daily basis is just rushing through life. Like just even if we're sitting at dinner, it's like, okay, can I get the check please? You know? So if I'm going to go work out, it's like, okay, when is this coming to an end? I got to go. I got to go work. 
right? When are we going to learn to embrace what's in front of us within that moment and know that that is a piece of our self-care act. I guess I'll call it, right? So I want each and every one to learn that doing self-care is not being selfish. Yes, the word self is in both of them. But self-care is completely different. So without rushing through it, without worrying about others, just being present and being in the moment and enjoying it to the fullest and realizing and recognizing why, why do you need to take care of yourself? Why do you need to take this self-care moment? And you got to remember, you're doing it because you love yourself. You respect yourself. And you're doing it for you. It helps you expand your energy and helps you grow in your endeavors in life. Whether it be in relationships, in career, your spiritual journey, your life's purpose, all of this comes from one thing, and that is clarity and focus. And you can achieve these two things from self care. Again, it's not being selfish. You'll know that you are selfish when you're feeling stuck, frustrated, angry, depressed, and many other things because now people have crossed your boundaries. You don't know how to set boundaries. You don't have clarity. You don't have direction in life. Well, how much have you been taking care of yourself? Now, trust me, I myself like I said, get caught up in family work and other things and have to set that time aside to take care of myself each and every day. Because in this world, the way that, you know, not only from a consciousness perspective, but the physical form here on earth, you, there's too much energy that we can't keep up with sometimes, right? Sometimes we can, and sometimes we're like, oh my God, it's Mercury retrograde, right? We got to figure out and blame something. <laughs> so, you know, getting caught up in everyday life, I completely get it. Days go by, weeks go by, months go by. Before you know it, years go by, and you reflect back, and you're like, God, I'm exhausted. It has been an exhausting year. Maybe this next year will be a better year. But it's not going to be because you're still going to continue to do the habits that you are doing. So I really, really want you to think about it. That have you taken any time for you? And if you have, how much? Because I guarantee you it hasn't added up to nearly as much as you should. It doesn't have to be an exhausting year. It can be a wonderful year, a wonderful day. Just by taking that little bit of time. And when you do that, you won't allow other people to drain your energy. And that's what happens when you don't take that time to do some self-care methods. And some of the things that I'm talking about is self-massage twice a week. Or go outside and get a massage, but self-massages are so much better. And I can teach you how to do that. But self-massages, 
very, very, very important twice a week. It's almost like taking that time and sitting in the salt bath twice a week. But not too many do that either. You know, a lot of times what I'm hearing is, I don't have time. I'm trying to find the time. Well, we're all going to have to find the time if we want to be healthy, have healthy relationships, have, um, you know, a, an abundance of things in our life and prosperity. But I think the number one thing is health. If you have good health, you can do a lot of things with that. But if you don't, it's going to impact every other part of your life, right? So I want you to think about some of these things, okay? So number one, I recommend self-massages. Walk outside in nature, 20 minutes. Sometimes I even have timeouts for me. Okay, set yourself a timeout. If you know you have not been... Um, taking that time for yourself and you're getting caught up in your work or negative thoughts or whatever it may be, it's timeout moment for you. Put yourself in timeout. <laughs> you know, just time out, just relax in that timeout. Just, just don't think about anything. So it's not a punishment timeout. It's a, hey, let's regroup timeout. Okay, meditation. If you're not sure how to meditate, please come learn with me. Okay, let me teach you. Chanting. Maybe instead of a spiritual based practice, maybe you have a prayer based practice, a religion based practice. It's wonderful. Do some chanting. And you could do that any time of the day, right? Even if you're driving, you can do that. Journaling. And I'm not saying write a book. I'm just saying write a word. Write 10 words at the end of the day or the beginning of the day. You don't have to write a book, but journaling will help you clear the stress out of you. So write your thoughts down, sing, dance, do art, take a class, do qigong, maybe some martial arts. But take time for yourself. One of the best things, like I said, my, the top of my list is self-massage twice a week. And taking the time to eat. Okay, so many people do not have time to eat. Eat breakfast or lunch. You're rushing out the door. Whether it be to drop the kids off, whether it be to do work, or whatever it is, take care of an elderly, whatever it is, you have to make time for yourself. And that means, and not just eating, like da 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 da, you know, you're not just eating, you are sitting there enjoying your food and taking that moment, just try it. I promise you, it's a completely different experience. Just really, you know, I was telling my um, somebody that, um, you know, I don't ever get hungry. But guess what I have been doing? I've been neglecting my hunger. My body's telling me, hey, people, you're hungry. But we tend to neglect that because we have so many other things on our plate, so many other responsibilities. So what I've started doing for a while now is starting to take the time to cook something for myself, make it, eat it, be present with it, 
and be grateful for it. And it has been an amazing practice. It takes practice. Some of these things that you've been doing for years take practice. When you change something in your life, okay, it takes practice. But trust me, you can do it because once you start changing a few things, you will notice how much better you breathe, how much better you feel. Your relationships really do change when you can take care of yourself and the way you feel about yourself. That's the biggest thing. Can we change the way we feel about ourselves? Right? So all of these are things that I want to offer you and remind you. I know, I know you know that it's there and it's simple, right? But I want to just remind you that it's time to take that opportunity to take care of yourself. And what that will do is Keep your chakras and your energy field in balance and aligned. It'll help you, you move energy that's been stuck because you're doing something you love and something that you're so present with. Increasing those dopamine and serotonin levels and balancing those neurotransmitters and bringing more joy into your life, which is what self-care is all about too, right? How can we bring more joy into our lives and that is self-care so you have to find your soul and this is one way of doing that and i want you guys to try it for just a week or two and let me know how that goes for you okay now i want to hear from all of you and I'm gonna to try to take as many callers as I can, but you can press star nine to raise your hand. And if you're on video, you could just raise your hand right now and I will try to get to you. All right, I'm just gonna go over here to the chat really quick. Hello, everybody. Hello, Josephine. Hello, Bruno. Um, we have people from all over the world. It's amazing to me. I love this. I love it so much. Um, Diona from uh, Dion, uh, Dion from California. Hello, hello, Kim. Hi, Sadia. Toronto. Yes, um, my sister-in-law lives in Toronto. <laughs> Linda, this was powerful, Deepal. Thank you so much. At the end of tears of gratitude flowed down my face. Yes, you're so welcome, sweetheart. So beautiful, powerful, and delightful to meditate as a group, still basking in the loving energy. Yes, thank you. Stacy. not allowing others, people, bad moods become ours. I will be practicing boundaries this holiday season. Yes. Practice your boundaries. Everybody wants to um, become an energy vampire and attach to yours because you have this beautiful energy. And if you guys haven't heard me talk about energy vampires, um, let me know because I just did an awesome uh, package on energy vampires and also the MP3s will be on my website this week. We are having a holiday sale. So starting tomorrow, it will all be set up tomorrow. So be sure to check it out tomorrow night, which is Tuesday night. Um, check out all the MP3s will be on sale um, and all the health clinic replays. So if there's a health clinic that you have been looking for and wanting to do, make sure you check that out. And um, the Energy Vampire um, uh, MP3s will be up setting boundaries. Okay. Setting boundaries, not only physical boundaries, but energetic boundaries. Okay. And how can we stay there? Okay. And you, I know holidays really do it to people. So make sure you get that MP3. If you don't have it, <laughs> it will be there by tomorrow night. So Eastern time, 9 PM Eastern, I would say, well, about 2 p.m. Eastern, it will be on the website, okay? 
Um, not allowing other people to affect your mood. Yes. So need to put your oxygen mask on first to save others. Very good. I like that point. Yes. Put your oxygen mask on. <laughs> this is your oxygen mask. I love that. Um, great analogy there. Um, Gracilia, um, I understand for self-care, taking care of all aspects of me, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual for balance, the wholeness of me. Very good. <sighs> now, yes, it is always more difficult if you have young kids. Trust me, I have a 15-year-old and a 10-year-old and a one-year-old dog. <laughs> so um, self-care can be very difficult difficult but guess what wake up early okay and take that time to even if the kids are there take that time to say okay do not disturb i have a do not disturb sign a meditate in meditation sign all kinds of signs you know two or three signs that i have that i put on the door that i do not want my kids or husband or anyone else to bother me Okay, and sometimes those are necessary. Signs are necessary, <laughs> right? If you're, when you're driving and you don't have signs, you might not stop, right? You might just keep going. And that's the same thing with self-care. You're not stopping because that sign is not there, right? You got to make that sign for you too. Put it on your computer. Stop. You know, it's time to take a break, right? Um, I'm going to take a caller. Um, I'm going to unmute you. Hello. Is it Kasia? Keisha. 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 Hi, sweetheart. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. So tell me about your self-care routine today. My self-care routine has kind of been out of whack because I'm, well, within seven days, I'll be moving from Texas to Michigan. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, um the move is 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 a good thing it seems like yes oh yes i i, I believe this will finally allow me to step into the place where i'm supposed to be yes beautiful beautiful so what i want you to do is focus on that i know i've moved three times in one year okay oh, <laughs> oh i i was in tears in one of them <laughs> Thank God I had a friend. So use your friends at that time, you know, you use, use them to, to have them hold your hand sometimes because you need that, you know, yeah. um, uh, definitely, definitely. If they're saying, let me help you, those that are saying, let me help you allow them and ask for that help. Because a lot of times what people do is they don't ask for that help or don't accept it. Yes, it's difficult to accept. <laughs> so what I want you to do is say, yes, please <laughs> help me. <laughs> yeah. That will take a lot um, off of you. And also take whatever moment you could get, 10 minutes, okay, before your shower, um, two days a week. I don't care if it's back to back, like a Saturday and a Sunday. If you could just take 10 minutes to do like a self body massage, heat up some oil, warm up the bathroom, you know, turn the heat up and warm up the bathroom and um and just warm up some oil and just just put it on you just massage yourself and, and okay. really indulge in that because because you know a move is tough i'll tell you i i just i can imagine how you feel you know things are everywhere they just can't seem to get packed <laughs> I, I've, actually had to, I've actually had to make a decision i i'm leaving majority of my belongings behind completely. Um, yeah. I put a small amount of things. It was very difficult. This has been a very trying week for me. I, you know, to basically separate yourself from everything that you found, you know, either memories or importance with and separate it down to a small little box that you're going to have you all move and just say goodbye and make your peace with it and really be okay knowing you're not taking hardly anything with you. Yeah, it's been, it's been very difficult. Um, I've had some highs and some lows. I'm kind of like, yeah, I've had some extreme highs and some extreme lows. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm okay. But I'm okay. I really, I don't, I feel as if this is where God is telling me it's time to go home and heal the rest of my family. So I, I'm, I'm really at peace with this. And I feel like this is really what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I'm so happy for you. I really am, and I'm really glad you're here today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, were there any questions that you had in terms of um, anything else? Do you, do you see that this is where I'm supposed to be headed to step into my power? Well, I definitely, um, your guides are saying yes. Um, very strongly saying yes. And when you started talking, I could definitely feel it. Yeah. Um, do you have, do they have any messages for me? Um, once you get there, uh, they're saying slow down. Uh, okay. Because you've been feeling this um, energy for quite some months where yeah. uh, it, it's been, um, you've been stuck. You've been in a place of um, hardship is the word coming up. Yes. Um, so, so slow down. Yeah. Am I supposed to use this light language that's coming through me for others? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay, because this is something that's been going on for the last couple of months. Um, very interesting. Um, I, I've used it for, you know, a couple close people. I just want to make sure before I, you know, extend it outwards, I just want to make sure this is what I'm supposed to be using for other people. It seems to be very effective in healing things for people on quite a high level. I'm I guess I guess you have that I don't know I guess a nervousness what's within me right I just feel I just want to make sure that it's properly being used okay Keisha can you do me a favor and um go ahead and email me um, sure and we could talk about this some more okay I will thank you Dai Boss. I appreciate you very much wonderful sweetie thanks for being here okay um all right i have somebody here i just unmuted i don't have a number or a name can you hear me yes is this uh this call deanne calling from belgium hi deanne how are you okay you've helped me a lot over the last uh, months you know i've never done this before i do a lot of meditation but i've never joined in with calls yeah you and i <laughs> yeah I was on your liver detox uh, call, and I and I purchased your um, the the weight loss. Very good. Um, and the the thing is, I I don't know what's blocking me, but I haven't lost any any weight. Okay. And um, yeah, I remember you you talked to me on the liver detox call through um, mail because I'm the one who lost my daughter in a car accident. Um, so I have some anger issues and, and things like that, but you have helped a lot. I listen to um, the program a lot and these sessions. Mm. So what I'm getting for you, sweetheart, is you've basically set up this shield around yourself where no energy could get out and no energy could get in. You basically put this shield from your, um, I could feel it all the way from your belly button up to your heart. Okay, and yeah. we need to work on that shield. And um, again, you know what? Why don't you do some self-care? Just like I mentioned to Keisha, I want you to love yourself. I want you to do a self-massage. Okay, twice Okay. And really, really be present with it. Turn some music on, like some Zen music with it. Okay, that'll really get the energy flowing, right? Yeah. Just loving yourself, loving your body, you know, and being grateful for what it's, where it's at right now. I know you want more for your body, but I think we're going to have to start with this because the stress level, your adrenals are very, um, they seem, um, you just seem exhausted. Your energy feels exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. 
it, it's just um you know almost almost to a state where you're you're i don't know if you have any depression going on or sadness like deep deep sadness especially this time of year yes well it's coming up to the to the two year anniversary of my daughter's death so wow. and she was 18 yeah. yeah um so that's 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 tough and and i just get so frustrated about i don't feel good in my body because I can't lose weight. And um, I have two two diets in mind, but I sort of fluctuate. I can't go, I can't decide. And then I don't do any. <laughs> yeah. Right. So the lack of motivation is, is, is there. Um, what I want you to do is eat um, your biggest meal at lunch. Yeah. Okay, and I want you to make sure to cook all your meals, um, even the veggies. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you right now. Really? I eat loads of salad. <laughs> I survive on salad. Yeah, I think it's time to change some of it because you're you're you've got that pitta constitute in ayurveda there's three constitutes just like in chinese medicine and um your body right now might need something especially with winter um um you know i think it's time to switch things around just try to have more cooked meals warm meals okay and um eat your biggest meal at lunch and make sure you get yeah. a meal in okay make sure you get a breakfast lunch and dinner don't skip meals um yeah okay i when i signed up for the the weight loss program i i also get um a session with you which i haven't had yet okay. how i just should i email you or um, if you don't have the link to sign up for your session, yes, email me and I'll send you the link, okay? Okay, and one final question about the two diets I have in mind. Um, do you have any guidance for me? Um, the first one seems like a good one. What, 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 what's the first one that you have in mind? Um, well, there is there's one that's that's uh, I'm not quite sure in my mind which is the first and which is the second. One that I have tried is that you take a lot of um, vitamins and things like that, and you have like fat loading days, and then you eat no fat for two day, two weeks. Mm. And in the past, I I did lose weight on that. The other one I I have in mind is. Um, just cut out all carbohydrates and and fruit even and i and you can i can eat fat but um but only you know not like no avocados no nuts things like that yep i just like basic that that's the one i like okay yeah that's the one your guides are really saying yes that's it Okay. That's okay. Well, like that helps me a lot because it gives me sort of direction and yeah. because I can't decide. <laughs> yeah, it almost sounds like the keto diet. Yeah, it's I'm not quite what the name is, but it's yeah, it's a, it's a you really really keep to the basics, uh, high protein, zero carbohydrate. Yeah, I like that. Um, I okay. Want some form of outdoor time in 20 minutes outdoors at least four times a week if not more okay i do do a lot of walking but my complication is i live in three places oh okay because i i work in two places and i live in england which i love when i'm in england because there i live in the countryside and everything but i'm only there at weekends and uh, and not even every weekend because of work, but. Right. Um, get in, um, whenever you can get in 20 minutes outside or indoors on a treadmill 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but um, 
four days a week is the number that's coming up. Okay. Now. Well, thank you so much. And I'll, I'll be in touch with you for our, our session. Yes. Thank you. This has been great. Wonderful. Thank you for being here. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna take uh, one more caller, then I have to go. Um, but let's see. Barbara, let me unmute you. Hold on. All right, hi, Barbara. Okay. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. So um, I'm having issues with everybody in my family sick. Oh. Like my grandma, she's very old, my mother. And then most importantly, my boyfriend has been extremely sick, coughing up blood and everything. He might even have cancer, but he doesn't believe in doctors. So American doctors in them. So he doesn't want to go to see a doctor. And I'm feeling a lot of sadness and I don't know how to deal with it. And the other problem I have, I can't seem to lose weight. And that's nagging on my self-confidence. Well, let me tell you, number one, you have a lot. You have a lot messages what to do. Barbara, you're breaking up. Um, but here's what I'm getting for you. You have a lot of stress, a lot of stress right? Yes. There's a lot yes. on this plate. And I'll tell you, everybody that comes to me wants to lose weight. And yeah, the energetic and the packages are there. But when, when there's things going on in your environment that are out of your control a lot of times and causing that stress, yes. it takes a huge effect on your, on your body, you know? Yes. And so, again, use these self-care methods that I just taught today. Use them to your advantage. That's what I want you to do. Do you do any self-care? Yeah, I do. Okay. I, I need to do more. Yeah. Do, do it yeah. more than once a month. <laughs> no, I try to do it every day, honestly. Good. I good. do a lot of self-care. Good, good. Yeah. Um, now it's time to meditate. I want you to incorporate more meditation. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. so that's another one of my favorites. So self-care equals self-massage equals meditate. Like all of those go hand in hand. Meditate, okay. Meditate. Okay, I haven't been meditating enough. I've done more like hypnosis things. But yeah, okay. Definitely yeah. meditation is missing in my life. Yeah. I haven't been doing it enough. And continue yeah. using the MP3s, okay? But work on the stress no more. Use the stress no more every single day. Okay. I'm okay. not too sure if I have it. I have two packages from you. I will check through it. Yeah, check if you have that. Okay, sweetie? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. All right. Well, bye, bye bye. Thank you. Okay. So. Uh, Catherine, I do Reiki on myself and I feel better and more relaxed. Beautiful. All right. Yes. Well, thank you everyone for being here and sharing your light and love and just being here with everybody. And uh, I hope to see you guys in December. I will definitely try to do a soul family group call in December. It is amazing, um, and thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, again, for being here. Namaste. Have a beautiful day, and bye-bye.